Hello everybody, welcome to another review of G1 Transformer Headmaster Highbrow. This is my third review of this toy line. Headmaster is always my all-time favorite toy line because of the gimmick uh, in his chest. So this character, uh, Highbrow, this is also a Japanese version. Let's look at the box, okay. So on the top, shows you how to transform, okay, from the helicopter to the robot. Okay, and in the front is a really nice artwork showing this high brow with these two guns here. And here's the head, Gort. Okay, and this number is C103. All right, and here shows him is like uh, he's using information, uh, electronic technology, uh, used that to fight. Okay, also collect information. All right, and here also said play is a coucher. Okay, so uh, play more and uh, uh, work harder, okay. All right, so let's turn around. And uh, this part is missing, I think it's uh, just like a G.I. Joe's flag. Somebody cut it out to send it to the company, maybe to get some discount or something like that. And here is the gimmick set. And uh, uh, when you insert the hat, we'll show you the speed, strength, and intelligence. And his high speed, his high speed is 1,200 kilometer per hour. Okay, that is okay, his ability. Okay, and actually his ability, the last one is ranking ten, uh, the highest ability. The other, the other one, just like a ranking around seven to six. The first one is uh, is strength and knowledge, speed, stamina, status, courage, and uh, firepower. Okay, so this is the back. Is also beautiful artwork. And where is Highbrow? Can you find him? Okay, he is here, all right? Actually, this little picture shows a little secret. It's the gun, you see that? Uh, usually, Hybra had two, two guns. Uh, that is a uh, two acid Rainmaker rifle under his wings. But this picture tells us we can also install his gun under his cockpit. So later on, we see that. All right, so let's open up the box. And this toy, I only have the toy. I don't have the uh, paper, any paperwork. And maybe in the future I can get them from eBay. So first, Gort, this little figure, is really nice, detailed, all right? And also the, the face, okay, place. If you uh, fold, it, fold it down, you can see, the, see this face. And if you can hide the face, it's a really nice disguise. And articulation, arm, go up, and go down. I don't want to break it. Okay. And the lag can, uh, it's very tight. Okay. Move a little bit. Okay. So when you handle this kind of vintage toy, be very careful. You don't want to know about uh, Give a lot of pressure, and especially in the winter time. Now it's summer, but in the winter time, if you are uh, just uh, too quickly move his arm or leg, it will easily broken. Okay, it's very fragile. Okay, and now the the two guns is called a uh, acid rain maker rifle. You can see it's just like around here. These two guns exactly the same, so don't worry about it if you are. Uh, if you just uh, purchase actual one, don't worry, it's a left or right. They're exactly the same. And this guy looks much better. I mean, they're like mirrored. No matter from the left or the right side, looks almost the same. It's pretty good. All right? Let's put it aside. And also this toy, highbrow. Let's look at it. Let's take it out. All right. So, highbrow. Okay, so first his rotor. He got a three blade rotor. Let's open up like this. Okay, there's a click. There's a click. And also his rotor is also a very easily broken part. And most often people just, you, you can only rotate it like this. But if you just fold it, it will easily broken. So don't do that. And there's a click, it can lock in position. It can rotate, pretty good. And also, his wings can open up. And if the wings are loose, it will just dangle, which is very ugly. So when you buy this, this wings are also very important. And under his wings, there are two slots. 
you can insert his acid rainmaker rifle and which is pretty cool to look at this is the chopper mode okay and i gotta say you know from the top it looks pretty good but from the under it looks like a disaster there are so many screwdrivers how many are there one two three four five six seven thousand yeah and there are two rollers this is a roller and this part is also very easy to get rusty okay so be careful when you uh, purchase one of these this is another roller so you can roll pretty good and also if you have a chance to get an extra gun you can put it under this hole yeah we can learn from the the artwork so this is nice story i just recently know that i have this toy for like for like over 10 years all right and only recently i just found out from the artwork okay you can store this gun here but if you have three guns which is even better all right so let's just transform a little bit so first fold his uh, rotor the blade this way okay all right and uh to put on his lag okay and to uh to rotate it it doesn't matter in in either way or this way they're both the same but this way the sticker looks much better so i just uh prefer this way and also you can Fold this part back, it's a package, and every headmaster have this kind of problem. Okay, you can put these uh, blades here and fold it back. Nice storage. Or in this way, okay, whichever you like. And his hand, there's a little uh, clip. You can put it down so the hand will come out. Okay, and uh, put his rifle in his hand. Okay, and his chest plate, fold it down. His chest plate is very strong, tough, and will not broken. Don't worry about it. Don't like, don't like the uh, the hard hat face plate. I mean this plate, the chest plate always broken. So fold it. My just like is very uh, tough. Okay, now the head on. There's a meter in his chest, building chest. And uh, they said the speed is around uh, six, seven. Strength is six or seven. Intelligence is six or seven. And his skill, we can see from his uh, his, his chart, is like ten. Right. The, the rest is just average. And all the headmasters had is interchangeable. If you change, you can also put a hard head. The so head's cure, and it shows different different readings here. Okay, and also Highbrow, he's like a, a computer guy. He like collecting information and like fighting through uh, the electronic things. I th he reminds me of a character in the Matrix, Neo, all right? And uh, in the Transformer world, sometimes he's worse. People don't understand, you know, like Neo in the Matrix, he can see through the world. So maybe Neo's language people don't understand, right? So Highbrow, same thing happened to him, okay? Okay, so this is highbrow, pretty sturdy figure. And only parts easily broken is the rotor, right? Rotor easily broken, and these two wings are dangling. Only these two kind of problem. And this toy is pretty strong, pretty tough. Uh, it will not broken. And uh, the guns, okay, is the lost piece, kind of expensive, but if you can purchase to buy another one, or maybe you just lose one of them. You can still store this gun under his cockpit. All right. Oh, yeah. By the way, okay. His cockpit. Put it like this, and uh, the little gore can see it in the cockpit pretty well. Just uh, let him sit in. Okay. All right. So. All right, everyone, thank you so much for uh, watching today's review of this highbrow. And uh, next, I'm going to review uh, the next headmaster, and he is Brainstorm.
Okay, I, I actually have all the head masks. I'm gonna review them each next to. And uh, anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.